A man of God helps you depend on God, not on him. A man of greed wants you to depend on him so he can extract money from you. A lot of so-called prophets today charge people money for ministry. The more you pay, the more they pray. Today, many churches and prayer camps charge money for what they call consultation. If you give $50, you get a prayer. If you give $100, they will lay hands on you and anoint you. If you give $500, they'll fast for you. And if you give $1,000, they will prophesy and see a vision for you. Nonsense! Anybody who charges you for prayer or ministry is in error. Mark my words. A day of judgment is coming on the false prophets and the fake pastors in this land. They tell you, buy this anointing oil, buy this holy water, buy this prayer cloth. Do not be deceived. Jesus never sold any miracle and neither did the apostles. We have to get back to the place today where we depend on Jesus and Jesus only. The cult of celebrity pastors must end. And here's the problem we make today. We think if a prophet speaks words that come to pass, well then it means he's a true man of God. We think if a pastor performs miracles, signs and wonders, that he must be operating in God's supernatural power. But the fact is, you can speak prophetic words that come to pass and still be a false prophet. You can perform miracles, signs and wonders and still not operate in God's power. Because this is so important, let me emphasize it and say it again. Deception is not just wrong words, it's also a wrong lifestyle. A false prophet may have the right words and even predict things correctly, but if he has a wrong life, he is a false prophet. There's a pastor in Tanzania who said, because I'm anointed, my feet cannot touch the ground while I'm preaching. He stood on top of his members while he preached. What is that? Nonsense. The pride in pastors today is making God angry. Pastors tell their members, bow down, kneel down, touch my feet, stop it. Jesus and only Jesus must be glorified. A few years ago, Pastor Rabalago of the Mount Zion General Assembly in South Africa was spraying doom, super multi-insect killer, in people's faces to cure their sickness. Pastor Light Monyaki of the Grace Living Hope Ministries commanded his congregants to drink rat poison as a demonstration of the power of faith. They died shortly after visiting his deliverance service. Ask yourself, where is that in the Bible? There's a great wave of error running through churches today. It's destroying pastors and ruining churches. It's causing men to backslide and making the gospel lose power. It's making a mockery of the truth and making men lose their faith. It's causing good Christians to turn from the truth and fall into sin. And the fact is, Jesus clearly tells us it will affect many. Many false prophets will come. Many men will be deceived. And friend, you need to know today that the greatest challenge for us as Christians in the end times is not persecution. It's not economic collapse or uncertainty in government. The greatest challenge we face today in the church is spiritual deception.